Hello Apache! My name is Kim and I am the new Performing Arts Camp Director at Apache and I'm super excited for this summer. Now, um, one thing that you need to have in order to be excellent at performing arts is a spectacular imagination. So this afternoon at the Walkie House, we are going to be working on our imaginations and making a snack. I mean, what's better than that? I have two helpers with me today that I wanted to introduce. So the first helper is Summer! Summer! And Summer, isn't that a great name for a camp kid? Yeah, right? And then my cameraman, he's behind the camera, and his name is Carter! Carter! There he is, there he is. <laughs> and Carter and Summer are both Apache campers, so they're excited to teach me this summer because it's my first time. Oh, do you like my Apache shirt? It's actually Carter's. It's pretty cool to be a tiny adult because then you can wear your kids' clothes. <laughs> anyway, it's Passover, and so we are going to be making matzo covered chocolate. S'mores. S'mores. Matzo s'mores. Okay, because There's it's summertime. Or we wanted to. Yes. Yeah, so chocolate and matzo. Now I like to do for matzo s'mores, we're going to use mini marshmallows because I think that they work better in the oven since we don't have our real campfire and we don't need to stick them on a stick, right? So let's crisp them up real nice. And then I got chocolate chips um, because that's what I had and that's to make our chocolate. So and then we got our matzo. So in a second here, Summer and Carter and I are going to make ours and then we're going to come back and we're going to show you what they look like and then we're going to work on imaginations, all right? All right, so Carter and Summer and I just prepared our matzo s'mores. So what do we do, kids? Can you tell them? What do we, we put? put some small marshmallows on matzo and then more chocolate chips. Yeah, so we put everything just on the matzo. Now I tried to make mine look pretty, like a little pattern, um, and Summer just kind of dumped hers with lots of extra marshmallows, and Carter, yours up here is kind of a combination, right? Yeah, so now I've got my broiler turned on, so the oven is set to the broiler, and we're just gonna pop it in there. And so we're gonna go in, and then I'll show you what it's like when it's done. We're watching uh, the, the fire, the, the, the oven turned off with, 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 with s'mores. Yes, so we are, we're watching them now, because we, just like a real campfire, you have to keep a close eye on your marshmallows and make sure that they're not gonna burn. Carter wants to say something. I'm even watching them. <laughs> Carter's even watching them. Okay. And look, that please. went so fast. I mean, we're talking maybe two minutes um, at the most to keep an eye on, but look at look at them. They're perfectly golden brown marshmallows, right, you guys? Ah, All right, we're gonna go so do some imagining now. So we brought our s'mores, and now we're ready for the imagination part. So we have set up our campsite, right? So Carter, why don't you tell everybody what's this big orange thing in front of us here? Fire. That's our fire. We've got um, two kids, and what are you guys in right now? Sleeping bags, of course, right? And they've got their sticks, so we are ready to play campground and eat our matzo s'mores. So I hope you have fun trying this. And. Yeah? And, and we have to pick our, our marshmallows yeah, we're just going to pretend to put the marshmallows on the stick because they're already roasted. We're pretending that was the oven part. But that's a good idea. Anyway. Ah, my stick's on fire! Anyway, we hope you have fun trying this activity. Depending on when you're watching this video, um, it might not be Passover anymore. And if that's the case, you're in luck. You can actually make regular s'mores. So swap out graham crackers for the matzah. And you can do the same activity. Also, the day that we filmed this, it was really cold outside, so we did our camp out inside. But if the weather is nice now, since it is spring in Chicagoland, um, it can be any weather, right? If the weather's nice, take your camp out outside. If you have a real tent, please set it up. How awesome would that be? You can make a pile of sticks to pretend as your fire. You could bring out your chairs in a bag. You could set up the whole thing and really have a great camp out. 
if you're even especially nice and kind and ask your parents, maybe you can even sleep outside in your tent. It's totally social distancing if you're camping out in your backyard. So give it a try. I hope you have a lot of fun and I can't wait to meet so many of you this summer. I'm so excited to be at Apache. All right, thank you.